welcome to another video of Science DIY. I hope that you had a great week and still alive and kicking despite the odds of this pandemic. Before we start our activity, let us first describe hydrometer. The hydrometer. A hydrometer is an instrument used for measuring the relative density of liquids based on the concept of buoyancy. They are typically calibrated and graduated with one or more scales, such as specific gravity. The hydrometer probably dates back to the Greek philosopher Archimedes during the 3rd century BC, who used its principles to find the density of various liquids. An early description of a hydrometer comes from a Latin poem written in the 2nd century AD by Remnius, who compared the use of a hydrometer to the method of fluid displacement used by Archimedes to determine the gold content of Hero II's crown. Interestingly, the invention of the hydrometer is credited to the famous philosopher Hypatia of Alexandria and is based on Archimedes' principle, according to which a solid body submerged in a fluid is buoyed by force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body. While the design of the hydrometer evolved over the centuries, with some advanced models developed by French chemist Antoine Baum during 1728 to 1804 and the English scientist William Nicholson, the most common type today consists of a glass tube with a weighted bulb with mercury or lead shot and a scale with different scales or for different uses. American Petroleum Institute Gravity for Petroleum Products and Plato Scale for Brewing, lastly, the Brick Scale for Wineries. First, we need to prepare the materials in making an improvised hydrometer. Next, we need to get the syringe and remove the plunger. After which, insert the needle into the barbecue stick and use the straw to cover the stick. Use the tape to tighten up the connection between the syringe and the stick. Put sand to add weight. And lastly, use the tape to seal the bottom end of the syringe. Use the modeling clay to seal the bottom end of the straw with a nail. It is suggested that there should be more layers of sealants to ensure that the straw will be waterproof at one end. Test your hydrometer by dropping it in the water. It is done to test whether the metal nail is enough or too heavy. It is recommended to use a tall glass container to avoid the hydrometer to lean. Next, we need to insert the straw gently into the water with the sealed side down. Then the straw should not rest at the bottom of the container. If it does, change the size of the metal nail from the straw and test it again. Once you have your hydrometer floating, take your permanent marker and measuring tape. Measure the length of the straw that is above the water and record the number. Remove your hydrometer from the water. Measure out 
and have the same length at the top part of the straw. Mark the length with the marker. Place your hydrometer into the water again. The line should mark exactly where the water is against the straw. Make sure you double check the water line at eye level for accuracy. The line mark is the baseline for water density. This will serve as the reference point, which is 1. Try the hydrometer with a cooking oil and vinegar. Observe if the mark floats higher or sank a bit. Hydrometers are invaluable tools used to measure relative density. Note that such instruments are calibrated for different applications depending on the liquid tested. Here, we should note that there is a wide variety of specific gravity tools. To assess milk quality, note that these instruments have a range of 1.025 to 1.035 grams per ml. Saccharometers measure the amount of sugar in a substance and are widely used in the brewery. Note that low level of sugar make a solution less dense and cause the bulb to float higher. Alcohol meters, also known as proof and trellis meters, are popular meters used to assess alcohol strength before and after fermentation. The range varies between 0.98 and 1.12 specific gravity. Urinometers are invaluable instruments used in urinalysis, for example, to measure a patient's hydration levels. Note that these hydrometers have a range from 1 to 1.06 specific gravity. Thermohydrometers consist of a hydrometer and a thermometer and are ideal for assessing the density of petroleum products, a process in which specimen is heated prior to analysis. Antifreeze testers are tools used to measure the ratio of antifreeze to water depending on the season. Hydrometers are also popular instruments for soil analysis used when the grains are too small for sieve analysis. They can have a range of 0.995 to 1.038 specific gravity. And lastly, we have aquarium hydrometers. So hydrometers can also be used to assess the salinity of aquariums and terrariums.